today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the brand new DC Comics DC Superhero Girls Harley Quinn. A fairly new line of figures, not necessarily new new, but Harley Quinn does come included with a mallet. This is geared clearly more towards the girl collectors out there that maybe are looking for, well, a DC hero girl with a slight spin on it. Like I said, geared more towards the girls out there. There's larger dolls as well. Uh, I may or may not pick those up, I'm not quite sure, but I definitely want to get these little smaller figures as uh, they do look pretty decent, I have to admit. Top left corner gives us a Harley Quinn image there. I don't know if this is actually tied into a, an, a cartoon or an upcoming cartoon. I haven't seen anything advertised on TV, but it does make sense to me that a lot of these figures could, these character-wise, could be potentially, you know, uh, brought into as a cartoon. It says, saving the world from the plans of super villains isn't easy, especially when you have to rush home right after to study for a big test at Her Hero Monics, or Hero Nomics, excuse me. But that's just a day in the life of a student at Superhero High, a, a school where you not only learn how to control and master your awesome powers, but also the value of teamwork and the importance of being comfortable in your own super skin. Fortunately, your classmates know exactly what you're going through as every student here is trying to figure out how to be a superhero and a super friend. Again, reads to me like a cartoon. I'm sure there is probably a cartoon in the works if they're, if not already out. Uh, as for a read up on Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn is an unorganized and unpredictable, but she is also fun. And even though her classmates don't always get her humor, she never stops trying out new material on them. Harley loves being the center of attention, even if it means acting like a clown. I see what they did there. Super powers, expert gymnast, acrobat, and quick-witted. Doesn't really read to me as somebody with super abilities, nonetheless. Down below, other characters and other figures available is Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Bumblebee, and Poison Ivy. Also indicating uh, that action figures stand on their own. Like that was a selling point. Action figures stand on their own. Well, I got to pick these up then. www.dcsuperherogirls.com. Check out more. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the DC Superhero Girls, Harley Quinn. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Well, despite the fact that Spot knocked the fact that these stand on their own, clearly she does stand. So advertising for the win. She does come with an accessory, a very small mallet. It appears more so like a croquet or was it? I think it's croquet, the, the sport. More like a mallet like that as opposed to a much larger mallet. Uh, really no paint on it, other, well, other than the red and the blue. There's no decoration or anything on there. But it does say it's made in China. I don't know if DC Comics knows that. Let's go ahead and put it into her hand. It does fit into her hand, uh, although it's a little on the loose side. Uh, even trying it on this side. This one's a little bit better. Still a little loose, but a little bit better than this side right here. My first opinion, first opinion getting Harley Quinn out of packaging, she's not bad. She's not a bad figure, but the plastic feels very different. In some areas, it feels good and sturdy, like the torso, the legs feel like they got a good sturdiness to them. But then when you get areas like the arms, the hands, and even like the head, it comes across almost more like a rubbery plastic than a denser plastic. Let's have a look at her face. There we go. There's her face right there. Face is good for a, presumably a schoolgirl Harley Quinn. It reads as Harley Quinn. Uh, she has like an Argyle sweater on that looks like a very Harley Quinn Argyle style sweater with the diamonds on either side there. Short sleeves. The skin is a little on the pale side, but really the face itself is pretty on the, is on the pale side as well. Her pigtails have the blue and the red, more a blue and red motif, but then sunny, suddenly they mix it up by giving her more black in the leg as well as the, so I guess really what they wanted to do was keep like the lower half black and red and then the top half blue. Although there are, the, of course, the shorts in the blue, the shoes are all also in a blue. Strangely though, the socks 
almost, they're not white. I don't know if their intention were to make them white, but they come across more like a pearl white than a straight solid white. Apparently Harley Quinn also requires lifts. Look how high those shoes are, which gives her, I guess, a little extra lift uh, versus the rest of her classmates. I don't have to say, I don't hate these figures. Surprisingly enough, the figures are pretty good. And again, oh, as quickly as I say that, and as, as advertised, they do stand. And I guess because she has very flat feet. I don't know if that's going to be the case with all the other uh, DC superhero girls, but maybe the flat feet do equate for the extra mobility, stability, having them standing straight up. When it comes to Harley Quinn's posability, her head is on a ball joint. Um, hinged shoulders, but again, like when you wrote, when you pull the arm or anything, it does feel, especially like right around the joint here, it does feel like these are very soft, not fragile, but very soft material plastic. Uh, she doesn't have a rotation in the bicep, but she does have a rotation right at the forearm, which allows the elbow to bend, and of course, full rotation there. She does have a rotation in the wrist as well. Uh, no waist swivel. Not that I can see here, unless it's just really stiff. I was trying to play with this earlier, and it didn't look like the waist really wanted to move. Split legs, though. So if she is a gymnast or acrobatic uh, individual, she can certainly do that. You get lots of mobility there. Forward and back motion on the legs. Kind of stops, though, when she hits her tush. Like, it doesn't move any further back than that. She does, however, have a bend at the knee. And uh, no posability in the feet, although you can swivel them. And I guess they want to keep everything very, very flat, because after all, the figures do stand on their own. And I jokingly do that, and then she doesn't end up standing on her own, but she stands on her own. Uh, these figures are currently out now. Not sure if I'm going to pick up the dolls. I guess the dolls are kind of... Well, the dolls are good there for the, the kids that want to get, you know, more like a more like a Monster High style of design, whereas these are kind of more like action figures. But they're not bad, though. Uh, maybe not necessarily all of them would be ones that you would pick up, but maybe certain key characters, like Harley Quinn here, I think are really cool. I think they're fun. And it's nice that she also includes her mallet. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the new DC Superhero Girls. We're looking today at Harley Quinn. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more reviews heading your way. We're also going to have a look at more of the DC Superhero Girls as well. Yeah! So stay tuned for those videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.